Hey guys, my name is Trevor, and yesterday the D23 Expo started, and it's safe to say, Star Wars is owning the Expo this year. Yesterday, they dropped the trailer for the most anticipated show for the rest of the year, The Mandalorian, and man, the show looks just intense, looks amazing, looks like it has a $100 million budget, but the show is going to be on a streaming service that costs $6.99. We don't deserve you, Disney! If you guys haven't checked out the trailer that you need to go watch it, I've watched it about five times, and each time I am just more and more involved. The main character of the show might not have any lines, but it just looks epic, a little bit dark, have some amazing action, and we get more of that world building in the Star Wars that we love. Man, I'm excited! Lots is coming very soon for that, and I think that's what everyone's really, really excited about for D23. I'll pay $20 a month just for this show. This show, it's gonna be awesome! Also, yesterday, Obi-Wan Kenobi got confirmed for getting his own show, and who's returning? The man, the myth, the legend, Ewan McGregor. After the show was announced, he came out on stage, asked Kathleen Kennedy, ask me, ask me Kathleen, will I be playing Obi-Wan again? And she goes, Ewan, will you be playing Obi-Wan again? He does this amazing dramatic pause. Yes! And everyone goes, what? That right there stole the show. Everyone else can pack it up and go home because Ewan McGregor, Obi-Wan is back. Yes! My favorite character in Star Wars movies. I think everyone's favorite character. He's back on the, I guess, smaller screen because he's going to be at home on the streaming service. That show doesn't come out till next year. I cannot be more excited for it or start to film next year. The release date's in the unsure yet, but I cannot be more excited for Obi-Wan returning. So the Mandalorian and Obi-Wan dropped yesterday and everyone lost their mind. Also, they said a Star Wars The Clone Wars is supposed to be coming back next February. I haven't watched the show in a long time. I need to rewatch. I know it's on Netflix and it's going to be on Disney Plus here in November, but that's supposed to be coming back on February. A lot of different turns with the character Asaka. Lots to follow there. Nothing was really big dropped about that. I know last year at Comic Con they dropped a trailer for the show or the movie, whatever it was going to be. And since then, we haven't really had nothing. This is the first time they talked about it in a long time, saying it might be coming in February. No one really knows for certain. And lastly, for Star Wars at this year's D23, The Rise of Skywalker comes out later this year. I think it's everyone's most anticipated movie of the year. After seeing everything that has dropped for this movie, it is now my most anticipated movie of the year. And they dropped a brand new poster, which looks unbelievably, freaking amazingly, fantastically, amazingly, dopey dope dope You have Rey and Kylo Ren fighting down below. You have Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And like transparently in the background is Palpatine, Darth Sidious. It looks epic, epic, epic. They supposedly dropped footage for this that the public's not going to be getting until Monday. So keep an eye out for that because on Monday you're going to be getting that. But I think it's safe to say that Star Wars really killed it. They had a bunch of all the characters come out. You got Lando coming back. You got all the characters that came out on screen for this movie. And one last thing. I almost forgot to mention this. And this is the craziest thing of the whole thing. They dropped a photo of Rey holding a double-ended red lightsaber. Like the lightsaber that Darth Maul wielded in freaking The Phantom Menace. You have Rey having that. That right there is crazy because it's called The Rise of Skywalker. And is she going to go crazy? Is she going to go rogue? What the heck is going to happen? We've seen it happen with Anakin. He turned to Darth Vader. Anakin Skywalker. Can it happen with Rey? No one knows for sure. But everything they dropped easily makes it that Star Wars easily won D23 for me. What did you guys think of this news? Do you like what Star Wars dropped? I think they outdid Marvel. They outdid Pixar so far. They outdid everything. I think the D23 was definitely worth it for Star Wars to be there. But what did you guys think of the news? Make sure to go ahead and comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!